I hope all of you are comfortable with basic set operations like intersection, union, and set difference. A set is a collection of unique elements. In Python, you can create an empty set this way. My set equals to set empty parenthesis. You can also pass an argument into set function. If you pass a list or a tuple, a set with unique elements from it is created. Clearly, the character A is repeated three times in the list and the number one is repeated two times in the tuple. But the sets created only retained unique values. The next concept may be a little counterintuitive to some of you. If you pass a string into set function as an argument, the individual characters would be considered as set elements. If your intention is to create a set with UVM as an element, you have to send it inside a list or a tuple. You can apply len function on a set as well. It would give you the total number of elements in the set. If you would like to add individual elements into a set, you can use add method. If you have a lot of elements to update in your set, you can use update method. Let me run through some examples that use add and update methods and show you how it works. When you're updating a set with a lot of elements, it is important that you send all of them in either a list or a tuple. To remove an element, you can use remove method. It works well when the element is present in the set, but if the element is not present, it would throw an exception. There is another similar method for discarding an element from sets, discard method. It works the same way as remove method, but the only difference is it does not raise an exception when the element to be discarded is not in the set. Once again, in and not in operators can be applied intuitively on sets. The same applies to for loop iterating over set elements. Sets are not sequential. Even though you enter the elements in a certain sequence, there is no guarantee that they will be displayed in the same sequence when you iterate over the elements of the set and display them. All right. To compute union of two sets in Python, you can either use union method or this vertical pipe operator. I'm computing the union of set one and set two and storing the output in set three. Similarly, Intersection of two sets can be performed using intersection method or AND operator. To find difference between two sets, you can use difference method or the subtraction operator. I need to remind you that set1 minus set2 is going to exclude the common elements from set1. Set2 minus set1 is going to eliminate common elements in set two. If you like to evaluate the symmetric difference between sets, set one and set two, you would do it using symmetric underscore difference method or caret operator. You can also compute the union of set one minus set two as well as set two minus set one to get the same result. Finally, to know if set1 is a subset of set2, you can use is subset method. To know if set1 is superset of set2, you can use is superset method. The same result can be obtained by less than or equal to and greater than or equal to operators respectively.